Hey, what's up, Sega Town? Director of Broadcasting and Jacob Pret here for the third installment of the Panther Podcast. In this episode, you guys are going to be getting another game of Can You Poem, as well as we're going to be introducing a new segment called the Panther Press Reacts. You guys are going to get a brief history lesson on the origins of Kris Kringle, and then we're going to wrap it all up by asking kids to act out certain different Christmas characters. Let's go. Can you poem? Alrighty, Caleb Kaiser has accepted the challenge of Can You Poem. Nick Wogie is putting 45 seconds on the clock and begin. Whoa, Kaiser is quick to react. He is scanning through those words like there is no tomorrow. He is faster than Santa Claus delivering presents on Christmas. We got five, four, three, two, one. Step back, step back from the wall. <laughs> Eric Kissner will now judge the poem and give it a rating out of 10. This one you see here, this poem, I don't feel it has the strength of last week's. But this is a beautiful, just, can you please zoom in on it? Get a closer look. Like harmony, love symphony, perform finger piano, live tune music. This is gonna be remembered. <laughs> I give it a 9.5. Oh! Caleb Kaiser and I can poem. And now for a new segment called the Panther Press Reacts. Pretty much as the title says, we will be showing members and staff of the Panther Press different viral videos and they will react to it and we will ask them questions about it and they will answer. So enjoy. That video was real or fake? Probably real because like the shark didn't. I mean, it wasn't like him like punching the shark in the face or anything. I don't know. Yeah, it looked pretty real to me. Okay, well, yeah, you're the only one who thought it was fake, and yeah, it was fake. And yes, this video was fake. What would you do in a situation like that? I don't know. <laughs> if I wasn't underwater, I would cry. Fishing. Cry. I would probably cry and then drown. <laughs> Freak out a little more than he did. I'd definitely be trying to swim to the shore. Yeah, Probably cry. Yes, I would kick it or punch it in the face, but not in the teeth because they're really sharp. <laughs> I would go for the eyeballs if I had to defend myself. I would take the eyeballs and I would yank them out. History lesson. Okay, so for this episode's history lesson, we have a little lesson on Kris Kringle. Kris Kringle, also known as Santa Claus, St. Nicholas, Father Christmas, or simply Santa, is a figure with legendary, historical, and folkloric origins, is said to bring gifts to the homes of good children on the 24th of December, the night before Christmas Day. The more you know. This has been your history lesson. Okay, so to wrap things up, here is a montage of us asking some staff and some students of Sagertown High School to act out different Christmas characters. Check it out. All right, give me a, your impression of a snowman. Mm -hmm. 
Give me your best impersonation of a uh, reindeer. <laughs> I don't think reindeers go. Hey. Of uh, Santa Claus. Ho ho ho. Give me your best impersonation of a, a reindeer. A reindeer. <laughs> Give me your best impersonation of an elf. But Santa, I can't work today. It's my wife's anniversary. Please. On <laughs> Dasher. On Dancer. Dancer and Vixen. All right, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you everyone for watching. This has been the third installment of the Panther Podcast. I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas, and I will see you in the next episode.